I have the awesome responsibility of reading what you guys talked about in your small group. And I've been told there's a disclaimer. What you will see here, approximately 50 items, I don't know, it's, it's a good list, are sort of the common threads of your conversations. If you don't see your contribution, fear not. It has been recorded and it will be on our master list and will then be on our website. So don't take offense, don't be hurt. This was the best effort in a short period of time to try and pull together a lot of the thoughts that you folks shared at your small group. Let's go. Questions. Are there other areas in which you feel our county infrastructure is inadequate or, excuse me, is, is adequate or inadequate? Examples, parks, libraries, recreation centers, and so forth. Please give examples if you have to pick which public facility is most in need. Two, what do you think are the primary issues encountered when a school's capacity needs exceed 100%? Do you think overcapacity schools cause more of an issue at the elementary, middle, and high school? Three, on a day-to-day -day basis, how do you feel the traffic congestion impacts your life? Is the problem primarily at rush hour or throughout the day? What steps can the county take to improve mobility and transportation systems? Four, without additional growth, the taxes we all pay may have to rise. Is this a trade-off you are willing to make? Do you think that limiting new construction will prevent school overcrowding and traffic congestion? Five, are there specific things you would like the county to do differently to ensure the provision of adequate infrastructure? Priorities. More school funding, funding needed. Can't blame state for everything. <clears throat> Limit development to keep up with infrastructure. Take advantage of potential new school sites such as the WMAL site. Get more state funding equivalent to what we are entitled to. Look across clusters for solutions, i.e. boundary changes. Lack of infrastructure degrades quality of life. Maintaining existing communities. Schools are too large. Affects walkability and quality of education. Impact taxes for other infrastructure such as fire, police, libraries. Do not build the purple line. Need for major urban parks and CBDs, down county parks, dog parks, and soccer fields. Support the RT. Concern with accuracy and cost of school estimates and developer contribution. Poor infrastructure lowers property values. Need to affect travel behavior for transportation. Overcrowding affects all common areas and school-wide resources like the cafeteria, playground, library, and counselors. <coughs> traffic congestion is a huge problem, especially in Bethesda and West Park. Limiting cut-through traffic exacerbates the problem and limit density. Reliable funding for transit needed. Moratoriums impact economic development, which affects potential revenue. Park school site concern with parks being taken up by schools. Overcrowding decreases quality of education. We need more buses and more trains. Want growth that pays for itself. Review and revise the thresholds for traffic congestion or school overcrowding. Maintenance of all public facilities. Rezoning of appropriate areas for growth near transit regardless of existing Prioritize projects within clusters. Combine resources with neighboring jurisdictions. More innovative funding mechanisms. Use money efficiently rather than saying we need more money. Enforce APFO and moratorium. Citing schools together, elementary, middle, high schools. More sidewalks. Better street grids. Next step, set up a multi-agency task force. Don't change congestion standards. Stop putting affordable housing in East County. Stop providing exemptions for developers. All right. We clearly have a consensus, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs>